How to fit a cylinder night latch. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Today we are going to show you how to fit a cylinder night latch. We'll be using a mock-up set to show you how to do this as clearly as possible. A cylinder night latch locks itself automatically as the door is closed. The latch it unleashes cannot be forced back without a key unless you are on the inside, in which case you can turn the knob, like this. All cylinder night latches come with a button similar to this one. When pressed or clicked into position, this freezes the latch and stops you from locking yourself out. In some types of lock, this button also deadlocks the door, making it impossible to open from the outside, even with a key, so it adds an extra level of security. Step 1. You will need a cylinder night latch kit which includes the night latch and staple, a mounting plate, the cylinder, the rose and screws. Make sure the lock conforms to national safety standards. Check the packet and ask your lock seller if you're unsure. You will also need a battery drill kit which includes Drill bits. Most importantly, a flat wood cutting bit like this one, a chisel, a tape measure, a pencil, a hammer, some safety goggles, and a dustpan and brush in case of any mess. Step 2 Mark the height of the lock. Use your pencil to mark the position of the lock at a comfortable height. It should be positioned 60 millimetres or 2.5 inches in from the edge of the door. Step 3. Select a drill bit. First, you need to drill a hole in the door for the cylinder. Check the lock's instructions for the diameter of the hole that you will need to drill. The chances are you will probably need a wide flat bit, which is normally 32mm or 1.25 inches. Using any drill has its risks. Put on your goggles. Make sure all loose items of clothing and hair are tucked away. Clear the area of any potential hazards and find a steady standing position. Now, Insert the drill bit into your drill. Step 4. Drill a hole for the lock. Making sure that the drill is straight and level, start to drill. When the drill bit begins to emerge through the other side of the door, Switch sides and begin to drill from this point. This will prevent the wood from splitting. Step 5. Insert the cylinder. Pass the cylindrical bar through the hole to test the fit. There should be enough room for the cylinder to turn within the lock. If there is not, very carefully drill a little extra space. Step 6. Replace drill bit. Remember your drill safety. Choose a bit that is the same width as your screws and attach it to the drill. Step 7. Affix the mounting plate. Place the mounting plate over the cylinder and position the two screws. Now drill the mounting plate to the door. Step 8. Mark a recess for the lock body. 
put the lock body over the mounting plate. Make sure that it's straight. Use your pencil to draw around the protruding edge of the lock body on the side of the door. Then go over your pencil marks to make them clearer. Step 9. Chisel out the recess. Before you pick up your chisel, remember your chisel safety. Make sure that you are wearing safety goggles and clear the area of potential hazards. Find a steady standing position and remember to watch your fingers when you start to chisel. Begin by making a series of cuts along your pencil outline. Chisel out a little of the recess at a time and keep testing the fit with the lock. If you chisel out too much, it will be very difficult to correct. Step 10. Attach the lock body. Remember your drill safety. Choose a drill bit that suits the screws which attach the lock body and attach it to the drill. Hold the lock body with one hand and with the other drill in the screws. Step 11. Does the key work? Now, check that the key works smoothly. Ours does, but if yours doesn't, this may be because the cylinder doesn't have enough room to turn within its setting. You will need to remove the lock and carefully widen the cylinder hole using a slightly wider drill bit. Step 12. Mark the latch on the frame. Close the door so that the latch rests against the edge of the frame. Then, mark the position of the latch on the frame. Step 13. Draw around the staple. Hold the staple over the pencil marks on the door frame. Draw around it with your pencil. Step 14. Chisel out a recess for the staple. Remember your chisel safety. First, make a series of cuts on your pencil outline. Remove any wood that comes loose. Then, chisel out the rest of the recess, continually testing the fit and chiseling out more as necessary. Step 15. Mark around the staple. Once the staple rests flush with the door, Mark around the rest of the staple. Step 16. Chisel out a recess in the frame. Remember your chisel safety. Make a series of cuts around your new pencil marks. Then, chisel out a recess for the side of the staple so that it lies flush with the frame. Keep testing the fit as before. Step 17. Attach the staple. Remember your drill safety. Drill the screws into the staple so that it is attached to the frame, like this. Step 18. 
Step 18. Test your handiwork. Check that the lock is in good working order. Done.